look up at the sky. It's always dark here. I, would we notice if a nuclear meltdown happened? It would just look the same. Like, we'd be scratching our heads with our glowing hands, not like, what's going on? <sighs> I'll tell you. I like, enjoyed my time here at Case. You've all been so nice to me. <laughs> Except Alex. <laughs> yeah, he tells me on a daily basis that no one loves me and I'm gonna die alone. So, <laughs> thanks, Alex. You are! <laughs> <laughs> That's the part where Eric says, no, you won't. So, Eric. I can't lie. <laughs> Okay, I take that back about you being nice to me. Well, I had a lot of interesting experiences here, and uh, the one I really want to share with you is vegan pizza, because vegan pizza is crap. My first problem with vegan pizza is that there's no cheese on it, right? Because every flavor of pizza is pe pepperoni, hamburger, supreme, whatever the fuck that is, and then vegan. So what is vegan pizza? Is it slices of vegan on a freaking circle bread? What is it? I'm confused. The next problem I have is the dough of the pizza I had was green, and normally that's a sign not to eat something, not to continue eating it. <laughs> Unless it's in the vegetable, fruit, or high fructose corn syrup based candy groups of food. <laughs> so I take a bite, I keep you know, trying to say to myself, it's vegan, it's vegan, it's vegan, it's green, and just eat it. My first mistake was I took a bite, and my second mistake was I swallowed it. But the great thing about vegan pizza is it cleans out your colon a lot better than Dolkalax ever has strengthened. <laughs> it doesn't go down as easy, but boy, does it come out like a log flume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of gross. I'm sorry. Um, I've had a hard time keeping up with the news because I'm so busy. So I'm going to rewind in a couple years to when Michael Vick was convicted of fighting dogs or something like that. Something unimportant. If he was fighting like tarantulas, maybe that would have been something interesting. <laughs> But he was fighting dogs, and there was one group of people that the news refused to get a comment from, and this group of people is cats. <laughs> cats are fucking evil. You just look at these things, and they have like snake eyes, it's like little, their whole eye is a pupil, basically, and they give you this weird dopey stare when they're hungry, and it just goes like, <laughs> give me the fancy piece, or I'm gonna eat your goddamn soul. <laughs> I'll just get that in the mess. Cats are Satan's minions when you think about it. They got like horny ears and stuff. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Goes to the monitor. Like here. <laughs> oh, anyways. No, well, I own two cats and I know they're Satan's minions because I see them staring at me and not. You ever seen a picture of a cat? Like their eyes? Doesn't that just give them away? And they look like lasers or demons come out and eat you or something. It's not friendly looking at all. I mean, they're cute, but they're still Satan's minions. <laughs> Imagine you're a Somali pirate. I know it's hard. <laughs> but you're floating up to some boat in the Indian Ocean and a Somali pirate boat is like those little inner tube things that you ride around in on the lazy rivers, but there's a motor on it, so it's, it's, it's a step up from those things in the lazy river. So they hop on this boat, and they find out it's not a cargo ship, it's actually a French warship. Now, I know what you're thinking at this point. Yeah, France does have warships, despite common <laughs> thinking about that. But they go into this boat, and not only are they freaking armed, these people are really fucking armed. I mean, like, they just point the guns at the Somali pirates, are like, shit, fuck that, we're just done here. Let's just get captured, get thrown in prison, whatever. Just do your best, French. Just don't feed us that stuff like the frog legs, okay? We're from Somalia, we already have to eat, like, crap on a daily basis anyways. No frog legs, stay away from that. That was a bad one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Somali pirates are not funny, well noted. I miss my family a lot. Uh, it, it just happened this morning, actually, because I tried to open a package of string cheese. 
You ever tried to do that? It's like Indiana Jones trying to escape the Temple of Doom or something. Like, I just want string cheese. I'm not trying to break into Fort Knox, okay? Why is it so difficult to open a package? You need like a welding porch or something to get it open. And then it turns into vegan pizza, but that's a different thing. Uh, I miss my dad's advice, because my dad gives the best advice. Um, my mom, she tries to give advice, but she cannot compare to my dad, so if she's talking to me, and she, I can't talk like my mom, because she's a woman, so... <laughs> I'll just talk like normal. So she's, she's talking to me about dating, she's like, and if there's any woman who cannot accept you for who you are, fuck them. And my dad on the side goes, then dump them. <laughs> You can't make that up. <laughs> my dad said the F word, my mom said the F word, and this was all in one conversation, so you can imagine what dinner is like. Especially if the food is bad, you know? And if it's brown? No. We get into the whole, okay, not going there. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just had a really bad thought. Can you watch a football game anymore without laughing your ass off? Like when the, when the quarterback gets sacked, what do the announcers say? That was perfect penetration of the offensive line. <laughs> this is America. You can't come up with a euphemism for penetration for crying out loud. Why don't you say like breakthrough or you just fucked that guy over and walked over or something like that, but not penetration. And then when the quarterback doesn't get sacked, he says, perfect protection there, and the quarterback didn't get knocked down. Unfortunately, though, I wish they said knocked up, because that would make, it, make a lot more sense. <laughs> it's funny, because it's talking about a condom. Some people over here highly enjoyed that one. <laughs> um, real quick, before I get off this stage of terror, uh, I'll direct all hate mail to Alex Kloss, so, because he doesn't get mail. And I feel bad for him. Uh, reverse, I don't get mail, so send hate mail to me, because my parents don't want to pay for postage on stuff. But they will mail me packages of cookies. So if you want some cookies, you know, uh, come up to my room and I'll give you the whole thing because I suck, okay? <laughs> so thanks for pretend laughing because this was just stupid. So have a good night and where's the raffle? We need more raffle up here. Raffle! raffle thing.